Ube leche pancake is an amazing dessert for any occasion and though there are a lot of steps, it's not really hard to do. Let's start with our leche flan, which we'll bake at the bottom of the pan but will be on top of the cake when everything is done. First, let's do our caramel. I'm using one cup of brown sugar because that's all I have now and I also want to create a slightly bitter caramel. So in a non-stick pan, over low heat put your sugar and do not mix or stir stirring might make your sugar crystallize which is not what we want this will take a bit of time maybe 8 to 12 minutes give the pan a swirl every couple of minutes just a reminder that caramel is very very hot so you have to be careful when the caramel is done pour it into your pan and let it set now the custard mixture. I separated 10 eggs. We're using the yolks and two whole eggs. Using whole eggs will give the flan a good body and still keep it smooth. Now add 14 ounces of condensed milk. And 12 ounces of evaporated milk and a tablespoon of vanilla. Give it a good mix to make sure that all eggs are beaten. To achieve a smooth custard texture, strain the mixture to get rid of any lumps. Add a pinch of lime zest into the mixture to help tone down the eggy taste. Pour the mixture in the pan and set it aside. Now for the ube chiffon cake, I sifted 2 cups of cake flour and in that I will add using a sieve 1 half teaspoon salt, 3 tablespoons baking powder, 1 fourth cup powdered milk, and 2 third cup granulated sugar. Sift them and give our dry ingredients a mix. In another bowl, let's whisk together 8 egg yolks, 1 half cup oil, 2 tablespoons vanilla, then add 1 cup ube jam, One half cup whole milk and mix well. In two batches, add the dry ingredients. Mix until everything is well incorporated. Set the batter aside and let's do our meringue. Beat the egg whites in high speed for about 5 to 8 minutes. Then add 1 half cup of sifted icing sugar in 2 batches. Keep whisking until the meringue reaches soft peak. At this point, add 1 half teaspoon cream of tartar. Keep on whipping until stiff peak. Before combining our batter and meringue, preheat the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. While the oven is heating up, let's finish our cake batter. In three batches, pour the batter into the meringue or you can also do it the other way around. Then very gently fold the batter in, 
and be careful not to over mix because we don't want to lose the air we built into the into the egg whites do this two more times until everything is combined then pour the batter into the pan with the leche flan mixture do not overfill your pan leave at least an inch from the edge of the pan Bake for 40 to 50 minutes or when you stick a toothpick into the cake, it comes out clean. That means that your cake is ready. Halfway to the baking time, cover the cake with foil to prevent the burning of the top. Once baking is done, take it out and let it cool completely. I suggest keeping the cake in the fridge for at least an hour before unmolding. This will help the cake to come out easier from the mold and the cake is always better when it's chilled. Unfortunately, I will not have the time to chill this enough because lunch is in a couple of hours. So I'm doing my best. I place my cake in the fridge as soon as it's not hot anymore. And now we're ready to unmold our ube leche flan cake. So I hope you will give this recipe a try and when you do, please let me know. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification to get updated when I have a new video. Stay safe everyone and remember, food is a language of love. Keep cooking and keep loving. See you next week!